Despite all of the damage she's caused, Kamala has spent the final week of her campaign comparing her political opponents to the most evil mass murderers in history. And two days ago, Joe Biden called our supporters garbage, garbage. That's nasty. I think that's worse than deplorables, right? How did that work out for Hillary? I think this is going to work out even worse. And they mean it. They mean it, even though, without question, my supporters are far higher quality than Crooked Joe or Lion Kamala. Far higher. Look. Look at that. Look at that. That's, they had nobody like that. My response to Joe and Kamala is very simple. You can't lead America if you don't love Americans. You just can't do it. Can't do it. You can't be president if you hate the American people. And they do hate it. They hate the American people. Who would have an open border policy where prisons and jails and penitentiaries are allowed to freely walk into our country? where gang members are taken off the streets of Caracas, Venezuela, and dumped into our country. We don't even know their names. We know nothing about them. They're free to roam. They call it free to roam. Congratulations, you are free to roam. And they killed four people, you know. It's crazy. The 13,000 plus that we have, the killers, these are murderers from jails. Can you believe that? These were all murders, convicted murders, in jail, in prison. And we know nothing about them. In fact, we don't even know where they are. But they're out there someplace. I'm sure we have a few of them. Welcome. I'm sure we have a few of them sitting right sitting. This can give you a little bit of the yips, right? You're sitting down now, and you don't know whether or not the guy next to you killed five people. No, we're going to get them out of here. We're going to get them out fast. We're going to get them out fast. And our local police are going to be activated. And if we had the cooperation from the fake news, which you don't, it would happen relatively quickly. We're going to be able to do it. No, our local police limited. They know every one of them. They know their middle name. They know everything about them. They know what country they come from. They know everything. But they're told to stand back. Don't touch them. Don't do anything. Stand back. They don't want to stand back. Just like Border Patrol, they go crazy when they see these people pouring in. And they can look at them and they can see trouble. They go, trouble, 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 trouble. No trouble, trouble, trouble. They can look at them and they can see good or bad. Kamala Harris is not fit to be president of the United States. She doesn't have the intellect, the stamina, or that special quality that real leaders have to have. She doesn't have any quality leadership. She shouldn't even be there. He got 14 million votes. Look, I'm not a fan. But we had a debate. He didn't do great. His numbers went down. Big deal. They, they wanted to see him, and they say, you can't win. You're out. This is, you know, we call them the threat to democracy. They look at me, I'm the threat to democracy. I am the least threat. I'm the one saving our democracy. <laughs> oh, crazy Nancy. She's crazy as a bed bug. She... She walked in and she starts screaming at him, you're out of here. You're out of here. Get out of here. And you know, it's amazing, her and some of her friends. And yet with Nancy, she was a big owner of Visa stock. She started off with nothing, and now she's worth $200 million, they say. But listen to this, with her husband. With her husband. What was that all about, anyway? That was, that was a weird deal. What was that all about? So she's got the husband, and they buy stock. And she was a big owner in, I believe it was Visa, and big owner, big position. And we didn't know this, but Visa it was going to be announced the following day that Visa was under major federal criminal investigation. And Nancy sold all of her stock at Visa the day before that came out. I don't know. Sounds a little bad. What do you think, Mike? A little bit, little bit shaky. She said it was by strictly coincidence. She said it was by coincidence. No. Well, but I don't see the press. Did you guys write about that at all? I don't think so, huh? 
Joe Biden's comments were the direct result of Kamala's decision to portray everyone who isn't voting for her as an evil and even subhuman person. And we know it's what they believe because look at how they've treated you. They treat you, they do treat you like garbage. They really do. For the last nine years, Kamala and her party have called us racists, bigots, fascists, deplorables, irredeemables, even Nazis. And they called me Hitler. You know, my father was a great guy. He was a strong guy, but a good guy with a big heart. Strong, but really a warm guy. Whenever we walked down the street, we'd come sometimes into Manhattan. That was a big treat. And we'd see in those days, you don't see that anymore. Now you see it at a very much higher, at a scarier level, there, frankly. They put a gun in your ribs and they say, give me what you have. But they used to hold tin cups out. And he'd always walk by and he'd always put $100 in it. Anytime he saw it, he'd put $100 in, you know? That was like $1,000 today, maybe more. I said, that's nice. I always remembered it. It's nice. But, you know, he told me once, I don't even know in what reference, but he said, never use the name Nazi. You don't use that name. Do you understand me? And never use the name Hitler. You don't have to say Hitler. Don't ever say Hitler. Do you understand? And now I'm being accused of being Hitler by these lunatics out there that have lost control of our country. Our country is a, we're riddled with crime. Every city, you take a look at it, it's falling apart. They smell, they're dirty, they're criminal ridden. You take a look at what's happened to our great cities, it's a, it's a shame. And you know a city, and I hate to say it, I hurt myself, I have property there, San Francisco. I have a lot of property in California, it hurts me. But I don't care about this, what, what, look, I was, to be president is a big deal. So I don't give a damn about my property, but I own big property in San Francisco. San Francisco. Now I lose another 25 million by this statement. That's one. San Francisco is almost unlivable. And it's because of her. She was the DA who destroyed San Francisco. She then became the attorney general. And she destroyed, along with Gavin Newsom, one of the worst governors in history. She destroyed California. More people 